Department of Police as well as the MEC of Human Settlement for the violence that broke out in Rampant Hill and Mutla Gang. Now, it claims that officers were disrupted as well as during the peaceful march and also that municipal buildings were disrupted as well and were looted. Foreign owned shops were looted and uh, it looks as though the EFF has received the blame for such. Joining me this morning to talk more about exactly what transpired in Mutla Gang as well as perhaps where to from here regarding the EFF is the EFF scouting spokesperson, Doving Doving. And of course, we do invite you at home to join us in our conversation this morning by simply leaving your comments on Facebook and Twitter, and also do feel free to give us a call. Doving, thanks so much for joining us this morning. Thank you very much. Now, obviously, we've got the MEC for Human Settlement has since come out to say that you are the reasons why the municipal buildings have been burned down, as well as foreign uh, shop owners were, had their shops looted. Is, it that, is that true? Were you guys to blame? Did you guys do that? Well, I, I, I think, you know, it's, it's, it's quite unfortunate that uh, the MEC can utter such uh, words and uh, unfounded allegations. Clearly, he's drunk. I mean, he's, uh, he was not there. And uh, some of us were present at the match. And uh, uh, in all the footages, I think, that uh, have been uh, aired, uh, there is no a single person that has been shown wearing the FFR Gala looting. We publicly condemned the criminal acts of looting and uh, uh, vandalism, and uh, no EFF member was uh, involved in any of those. But we you guys said that now there was an ANC that was involved. You guys came out and said that instead of the EFF being looted, that the ANC were the ones that were looting and taking advantage of the, of the actual opportunities presented to them. Is that so? Yeah, because you know what? Um, we cannot be involved in fractional battles uh, of the ANC in Ranfontein and Sakeng in that particular area. Mm -hmm. We have uh, spotted uh, a few members of uh, the ANC wearing their regalia in, um, uh, in and around Sakeng, yeah. uh, eight hours of the morning. When the looting happened, um, um, all our members were at the municipal offices delivering a memoranda. And we were there. And uh, remember, the EFF is a very disciplined organization. We can account for all our members who were participating in that particular march. And uh, no EFF member was in the township at that particular time. We were all at the municipal offices delivering the memorandum to the mayor. So, so we were with the mayor at that particular time. So right now you're able to say that perhaps when it comes to the ABC, what they say is completely false. And obviously, it's defamatory if the allegations are not false. It is completely. Yeah. I mean, he, he's, uh, he's, he does not know what he's talking about. Mm -hmm. He should uh, uh, start going on the ground and, 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 and being with the people. We said uh, as the EFF that we will leave the legislature when there's protest on the ground and go join the people, leave the house sittings, go, to, go, to, go join the people on the ground uh, during their protest. And that's exactly what we are doing. And of course, I mean, when it comes to the actual issue of, of looting, which has been quite a big problem in this country of recent you've seen it in Soweto, it's to the Western Cape, etc. Because you know, Natal, where, where, what solutions do you, do you propagate? Because a lot of times what, you, what happens is that with opposition parties, they always give the, 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 the criticism on behalf of the ruling party, but in terms of actually coming up with solutions as to how to address this issue as an if, if and this thing has been happening in Khaldeh, for example, what's been done to, to actually speak about this whole looting issue? Let's speak about Ranfontein in particular, mm. uh, in relation to the looting. Mm. In Ranfontein, there is no really business investment in that particular town. The only thing that you can see there is car dealerships. How do you expect to create jobs out of that? I think in this, this, this I mean, it's from the sheer desperation of the people, uh, not, not, not finding jobs, you know, not being empowered in that particular area. They are merely, you know, asking for, for, for job opportunities. But what's the solution now? I mean, this is not just in Ranfundi, you're mentioning it as an example. Yes. But the issue was also in Soweto, for example, and one can say it's as a result of unemployment. People are desperate, people are needing some form of, of hope, and as a result, they find themselves without that, and then they, they, they go on the rampage and propagate criminal activities. What's the solution from the EFS side? The solution is simple. Uh, the government of the day has to ensure that the job creation. I mean, people have to, to, to put food on the table. I mean, it's, it's, it's all it's a, it's a matter of. Uh, uh, putting food on the table. It's, it's a stomach uh, issues. I mean, it's, 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 it's simple. If you find that people on the ground are not, are, not, are not earning a salary, no one earns a salary at home, that person will resort to one thing, will find an opportunity 
uh, one day is a march. Uh, we find that there will be a hostility uh, with regards to foreign nationals. But are you addressing those people? Are you going to these townships now, Dobing, and saying, as this, as the EFF, yes. we are saying that this is the best solution to come forward instead of going, but guys, government must do something for you. Are you guys such a, because tomorrow, if you guys are the government in this country, then the, the, the solutions will be looked to you? Yeah, we, we look, we hold meetings with communities on a weekly basis and, and really try and find input from communities to say what is the best way in dealing with such issues. And we, we do have uh, positive input from communities. Mm -hmm. And together with communities, I mean, we, you know, as a political party, we need to work with uh, uh, communities on the ground to find uh, sound solutions in terms of addressing issues of, 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 of poverty. You say we need to work, are you working currently? We are, we are working with communities. Mm -hmm. I mean, as EFF is, is committed to, to, to working with uh, people on the ground. Yes. So we're going to be speaking further and divulging into the matter of the EFF, as you know, that the State of the Nation address is just around the corner, and then they've got a huge countdown on their website, so we're going to be looking at exactly what's going to be happening come February 12th. As always, we do invite you in conversation with us as well, and uh, making sure that you do um, actually stay with us as well. So we're going to take a quick break, but don't go anywhere, because we do continue.